This is Ryan and he has been to hundreds of football stadiums across England and Europe. So today I'm letting him book a European football match which I'll have no idea about. We did an English version where I ended up in Hartlepool. And to be fair to him, it didn't disappoint. He's booked the flights, the hotel, the match tickets. And these are the two essentials I need. Number one, a blindfold so I don't look at the destination screen. That is going to be very difficult. And number two, noise cancellation earphones. So I don't hear the destination on the plane. You'll be pleased to know that the match ticket only cost £1.80. So it's absolutely... £1.80? The the only request I have for you, though, is to get to Bristol Airport oh, on the Friday. Bristol Airport. I've never been there in my life. It's going to be the eighth tier of Estonian football or something. I am genuinely so baffled right now. This video is sponsored by Surfshark VPN. So here I am then, Ryan. I'm in Bristol the day before. I've just watched Celtic lose to Lazio. I was in the away. An absolutely phenomenal scene. So I hope you have some scenes in this video. But now it's all in Ryan's control. I absolutely promise you I have not seen anything to do with tomorrow's flight going out from Bristol. Never flown from here ever before in my life. So tomorrow morning is going to be very interesting. And so it begins. Ryan, where on earth are we going then? Somewhere in the world. This is going to be an absolute adventure. I want somewhere nice and with good weather. Can you guarantee me that? No, not yet. I'm in shorts. We'll find out anyway. Let's get through. There's all the information on flights today. Not even going to look at it. Not even looking. So Ryan has got the boarding pass. I'm not going to be, I'm not going to be scanning it. I haven't looked at it. Here we go. Look at that. Scanned it. Let's just get through. The only man who knows is this one. We drink like absolute men in. Ice latte at what? Six in the morning. I'll tell you what. One pound eighty for a match ticket as well. Like, that's the bit I don't get. It's too cheap. Can you confirm? You look very confused, mate. It's go time, Ryan. Are you ready? I think so. I've got to keep my head down now. I'm not going to put a blindfold on. I don't think I need to. It's not too busy. If I keep the head down, we're in a good place. This is my view for the next half an hour. I just beg it somewhere nice, Ryan. This is playing with my mind so much right now. It's so tempting just to look at every single board possible, but I haven't got a clue. It must be an absolute breeze for you, mate. It's not that plane, I can tell you that much. It's not that one. Oh yeah, that's leaving. It's just me and looking down on the floor. And I probably look so weird right now. We're at the gate, yeah. We're at the gate, apparently. So we're gate 14 then. Do you want to know a fun fact? 14's actually my lucky number as well. Oh, really? This is it, this is it. Passport, boarding pass, and then we're through. That's okay. Yeah, we're through. Cheers. So we're through. This is just weird now, this is really weird. There we go. What that's a plane anyway. Is it? Oh, here we go. The morning breeze in Bristol. Where the f are we going? That is kind of the hard part done though, isn't it? Yeah. Earphones in and then I should be good, to be honest, until we land. Here goes nothing in. We're doing quite well keeping it a surprise for now. I think we've come to the conclusion that once we land, I'm going to find out the country. But then after that, I have no idea what club. I'll tell you what though, at least we've got a good view for when we land. Time to whack on the noise cancellation earphones so don't listen to any of the announcements. This is it, Ryan. It is. Are you ready? I'm ready. But I'm ready for some sleep as well. <laughs> Landed. Do you know where we are? <laughs> I've got a clue. In a European country I've no idea about right now. Right, okay. Oh my god, here we go. Here we go. But the best! We're the best! Oh my god, yes! People must think I'm mental! I see that. Budapest! Hungry! I pick some good places sometimes. Welcome to Budapest. Glad to have you here. I'm glad to be here. Don't you worry about that. Look at this. They're so welcoming. Welcome to Hungary. This is stunning. This is stunning already. We really are in the middle of nowhere though. We've got to rent a car to get to the stadium, by the way, which is not even in Budapest, the centre anyway. I'm going to be honest. Ryan doesn't know, but I think I know now. I think I know. If we need a car, because most of the clubs I feel like in Budapest are actually in the centre. And I know there's this one which is on the outskirts of Budapest. And if it is, it's the most beautiful stadium in Europe, man. Well, here's the car then. Here we go then. Let's enter this beauty. Are you ready for this? No, not at all. No? No. Not no. At all. But you no. drive cars for a living. Yeah, not this side. So it doesn't look like we'll be very, very safe in here then. But what will keep you safe is Surfshark. Surfshark VPN keeps your online identity safe by encrypting all of the information sent between your device and the internet. This keeps your personal data protected from big companies or cyber criminals. Surfshark has 3,200 plus servers in 100 countries, meaning you can unblock sports streams that are only being shown in certain countries. One thing which really annoys me when you're in a different country, like we are right now, is when you want to watch the football highlights on Twitter, you can't do so because it's telling you you're blocked. It really annoys me. Hey. 
It is annoying, isn't it? It's really annoying, really annoying. Well, with Surfshark VPN, you can change your virtual location and watch those goal highlights without being blocked. A VPN encrypts your online data and helps to secure your personal information when you use free public Wi-Fi, which can be a gold mine for hackers. Surfshark's clean web feature blocks ads, trackers, malware, and phishing attempts, allowing you to surf the web safely. Click the link in the description and use code FUSIONJOSH for three months free. This is a no-brainer for that deal. And Surfshark offers a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk to try it out. Click the first link in the description and Ryan how's the driving going it's all right at the moment at the moment here we go then now this is the stadium of Ferenc Varos can't be a Ferenc Varos game because they actually played last night so actually I'm ruling that one out but a beautiful stadium here I remember going to the Budapest derby it was beautiful this place is an absolute joke look at it look at the views around it oh my god Ryan has absolutely treated us boys and girls. Just take it in, breathe it in. Yeah, this is sensational, mate. And here we are then, welcome to sunny Budapest. I cannot believe I'm here and this is all thanks to Ryan. And I told you guys in a separate clip whilst he was getting the car that I might have a similar idea. I think I know where we're gonna end up as we need a car. And that is, Ryan, is it Puskas Academy? It is! <laughs> The most beautiful stadium in Europe. It was an easy option. I am excited. Like you say, it's one we've both wanted to do. I'm so delighted it's that. Ryan has absolutely treated us. It's not Ireland like he's been saying for the last month. Do you want the tickets? I do. One I do. One pound eighty, the Pancho Arena. I'm absolutely buzzing now. This is the stadium we are visiting. My mind is at ease right now from waking up, not knowing where I was going to end up on the plane. Where am I going to be landing? Here in sunny Budapest, I'm going to say it and keep on saying it. I'm delighted to be here. Just had a great meal in Hard Rock Cafe. Simple as, love it always. And look where we are, this looks like a nice square, great area. Loving Budapest, absolutely love it. Every single time I visit, beautiful. <laughs> So that is it of seeing the centre of Budapest. We're now heading towards the stadium and seeing it for the first time. I still can't believe we're visiting the stadium. It's always been in the top three I've been wanted to go to. There it is. The architecture looks mad from distance. I can't believe it's all come down to this. I just can't believe this. I cannot believe it. Oh, just stop it. Just stop it. Here it is. Oh my god. Just look at the architecture of this place. Come on now, this is so unique. Get to me out of this. You are simply taking the piss. Look at it. So it looks to me it's a whole complex around it with the stadium being just here. This is bucket list stuff. Look at that. It's got its own little information screen. How many pictures? Six or something? Pancho Arena, like it's got everything, even got a hotel, it's got so much. I've never seen anything like it. I don't think I'll go to a stadium quite like it ever again. It looks like it's all built from wood as well, like this is just something else. This is the stadium which has been going viral all over Europe, all over England, and today we're here. The fact this was a mystery and we've ended up in the most beautiful stadium in Europe, all thanks to Ryan. Look at it, this is insane, and I'm gonna keep going on about it. Have a day off. Have a day off completely. What is this? So this is part of the complex, where this is the area of the hotel. Like, I'm not being funny, the whole complex just looks a joke. I've just absolutely never seen anything like this before. Just look at the architecture and how new it is. Not being funny, but for any ground hopper, any football fan, this will just excite you. I could even be the first YouTube footballer, vlogger, to actually be going to the stadium as well, which it's insane. So that window just opened, just handed out this, Program Pancho Manager. Arena, and two lanyards, and a few pens. I mean, we take that, absolutely take that. Just look at it. I mean, I can't show you an aerial view, but just have a look at this image. I'll tell you what, we've tried to enter the stadium with three different points. We're about three, four hours early to see if we can get any sort of access. Nevertheless, there's one, two, three, denied on all three. It's not looking good, so we're gonna have to wait until the gate's open so we can go inside. It is crazy to me that a stadium like this 
is literally in the middle of nowhere. 30 miles away from Budapest center, it took about 40 minutes to drive, but this beautiful stadium in the middle of nowhere, you would not have believed it. Like it may be in the middle of nowhere, skips about left, right, and center. But this is unique, it's different, I like it. So not only is the stadium in the distance, not only is our hotel behind there, but this is the training complex as well. I don't know who came about designing this, but my word, have they done a good job of the architecture. Like who has even got the creativity to even design this? So as you can tell, a lot of time has passed now. It's very dark and it's an hour till kickoff. Let's go inside and see this beautiful stadium. Not anyone from England, I don't think has even visited yet. Let's go in. This is what you've all been waiting for. Welcome to the most beautiful stadium in Europe. Look at the architecture around it. Look at the place. Have you ever seen anything like it? I know you haven't. Of course you haven't. This is an obsession. I'm absolutely obsessed. It's not only the design, you feel on top of the pitch as well, which is beautiful. Look at this. Now there was a bit of controversy about this stadium because this is a 3,500 capacity seater stadium. This town, this area, it's only got 1,700, the population, but a prime minister who was from this area wanted to build a stadium, but it can't be filled, it can't be sold out. And that's why it's so controversial about the Hungarian people around Budapest and in general about building the stadium in the first place. I mean, for someone like me, a foreigner coming here for the first time, I'm not exactly complaining. I love this place. This is all because of Ryan. I did not know I was going to be in Hungary today in Budapest, going to this beautiful stadium. But now we're here, I can just appreciate that extra bit more. Thank you so much, mate. It's all right. It's not bad guff, is it? Let's not forget as well, this match ticket costs £1.80. Any of you can travel over here, buy a ticket. It never sells out, so I do recommend you do so. If you want to travel here, then I think the best way is probably either renting a... Oh my god, these ones are doing my nothing, I can't lie. If you actually want to get to the stadium, I recommend a boat or rent a car, something like that. Apparently the buses, they're, they're not regular whatsoever, so they're the only two options of getting here, I'd say. £1.80. I'll keep saying that. £1.80. A match ticket. So in the table, it's seventh versus bottom of the league. I think Puskas will have a field day, 3-1 win. And I'm going to be completely honest, if this ends nil-nil, I will still be very happy. To even be here is a privilege. And all thanks to this man with the moves. <laughs> Are you ready for a nil-nil? I do just want to point out that this is the away end and there is no one here. It's not because, you know, they're not they're banned or not allowed. There's one steward. They just generally didn't sell a ticket. I'm not even joking. I just hope for some goals today. That's all I want. Although nil-nil, won't complain. And we are underway. We have found two fans in the away end. And fair play to those two fans. Hold on a minute, there's VAR here. It's just so quiet. It's so quiet. There's a VAR check and you won't believe anything's going on. It's very nippy right now. It is not warm whatsoever. I'm very cold. Embrace it. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly limbs in it. Nearly. Great edit this. Great edit. He edited it. So you that now. Why aren't you joining in, Ryan? Um, it's the curler. Is it? Oh, it's off the ball! But that was it. But that was Puskas' moment. He plays it back in. Oh. Substitute him now. That is half time. No one's clapping. Only Ryan. And the second half is underway. Let's have a few goals. Just look at Ryan in his natural. Habitat. Look at the interior inside of this. Genuinely phenomenal. Just look at the walkway for the fans as well. Like, come on. Then let alone the views you get whilst the football's on. All in all, it's just such a fantastic stadium. And this is why it's one of Europe's, and not just Europe's, the world's best stadium. Just watch it. Soak it in. The angle. Yes! There we go. The limbs. We've got it. Breathe it in, soak it in. We've seen a goal, Ryan. It's going to be just loud, watch. No, it's not. Nah. Number 14, my lucky number. Goal scorer. And the first ass players have been deserving now, I can't lie. What a beautiful setting, scoring a goal in this stadium, mate. Sorry, Ryan, you're in my seat. That's, that's just yours. Red! No, oh, that's a red. It's a red card, second yellow offence, 100%. percent we have got a good opportunity here, just inside the box. Look at that run up. You know he's going to absolutely. Seven minutes until the journey is over. Although I don't know where he got seven minutes from. Listen, the last second, you've got... Oh, it's a great ball. Oh, what a tackle. What a tackle. Oh, it's full time, I was gonna say. What a tackle that was, but there it is. The full-time whistle, 1-0 to Puska. So that has been it of the mystery fixture. We've ended up in one of the most beautiful stadiums in world football. I can't believe Ryan has taken me here. Absolute privilege to be inside of this stadium. Make sure you go and get Surfshark VPN. Use the code FusionJosh at checkout and three months free too. Thank you for watching. Leave a like on this video, subscribe, and I'll see you later.